If you want an easy to use video editor, CapCut should be one of the top items on your list, but it's not perfect and it even needs an internet connection to run. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candidate Technology and in this video we are talking about the network connectivity error that CapCut can give you sometimes. So if CapCut cannot connect to its servers, the first thing that you should try is using a VPN, preferably with a connection to the US. Now I use Proton VPN, but you can use any other VPN of your choice as long as it provides the option to connect to a US server or to any other country where CapCut is officially supported. So I will just wait for my VPN to launch up. As you can see, I can scroll down and uh, select the United States of America right here. Then I can connect to any of these servers and the error should go away. If that doesn't work, CapCut uh, support actually suggests that you use Cloudflare DNS to avoid any connection problems that may happen. So the way we're going to fix it is pressing the start menu icon and searching for control panel. Let's open it up. Now we're going to go to network and sharing center. Head over to change adapter settings. This will open up this window. Now I'm using my Wi-Fi, but depending on what you're using to connect, select that. Click on the Wi-Fi or whatever adapter you're using and then click properties. This will open up another new window. What we're going to do is we're going to select Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IPv4 and then click properties. Now uh, under DNS server addresses, select the option to use the following DNS server addresses and type in the preferred and alternate number DNS server addresses for Cloudflare. So that's uh, generally going to be 1.1.1.1 and then 1.1.1.1.0 uh, uh, I'll also put up the updated numbers on the screen for you at about this point so that you have a better reference point than me. Once you're done, click OK and you're good to go. Now you can try running CapCut again and the connectivity errors should most likely go away. If updating your DNS did not help, uh, that's probably because uh, it was still using the old DNS servers to communicate. So to, in order to flush our DNS and give it a reset, we're just going to hit command uh, prompt. So just press Windows key plus R and type in CMD. And once you're here, just type IP config slash flush DNS. Press enter. This will uh, flush your DNS resolver cache and make sure that the new settings take effect immediately. Now try running CapCut and it should be fine. Last but not least, if nothing else works, you can try using the legacy version of CapCut. Now there are uh, mixed opinions on whether you can find it on the CapCut website because now on Windows at least, they use the Microsoft Store. So if I were to show you the Microsoft Store, not Edge, let me just search for Store, yeah. Microsoft Store, open it up and if I search for uh, CapCut, it's not going to show up in my search results because it's not a um, sort of enabled in my region. If I go to the CapCut website, let me just Google CapCut and show you this. So if I go to CapCut website, which is CapCut.com, it shows, says not found. So uh, there is really no way for me to install the CapCut um, default version from the official website so you can use websites like uh, up to down or softonic or appsonic to be able to download the legacy versions of capcut now they are latest or at least they say they are but since these are third party websites we are not sure if what you're getting is completely secure so only use it as a last resort if you like these videos, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below if you have any thoughts on this video and I'll be down there talking to you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.